third downs as we needed to. But, um, you know, it was a good win for our team. So keep it going. All right, next is Greg Allman. Hey, Tom, you guys didn't have that many chances on offense early, but just if I can ask you about the Scotty Moe touchdown and what that did to give you guys a spark on offense. It was a good play. They ended up rushing three, and the line did a great job protecting. They've been protecting all year, and uh, they protected great today. Uh, you know, didn't get much pressure, uh, very few penalties, if any. I don't really remember any. Uh, and they gave me a lot of time on that play. Scotty ran the post, and just got it up over the top of the safety, and uh, Scotty made a great catch. So big play for us. Um, you know, we just got to keep making them. Next is Scott Reynolds. Hey, Tom, I wanted to talk to you about the play at the end of the first half, your Hail Mary attempt to Gronk that got uh, flagged for DPI, helped sit you guys up for the field goal there. Just just speak to that throw and, and Bruce's decision to go for it and try to get some points with less than a minute left right before halftime. Yeah, it was good. We hit the uh, we hit a ball to the tight end, then we hit uh, AB on the crosser, and then um, you know had a shot at the end zone. So it was a good play, and uh, you know ended up getting three three out of it. It was a good, uh, you know, it was a uh, you know a good play by us offensively. You know they got the PI Gronk was going up to possibly get that, and uh, you know, ended up working out well for us. I'll go to Rick Stroud. Hey, Tom, the, the drive to start the second half, I think Shady, we haven't seen him in a while, comes out and touches the ball a bunch, makes some yards, and then, then you get a big play. Uh, what, what was it like to have Shady back in there to, to be an outlet for you? It was great. You know, great for him to be in there and contribute. I know he's been itching to get back in there and make plays for us, and he did today. So, um, you know, everyone appreciates how hard he works and, you know, the pro that he is, uh, his mentality. Um, you know, to practice and his prep for the game. And um, it was great to see him make plays. We're going to hire a call. Hey, Tom, eight, eight and five sounds a lot better than seven and six, Tom. Yep. So uh, what, what does this win uh, do for this team's confidence uh, going forward? Yeah, you know, winning, winning in the NFL is tough. You know, it's, I've been doing this a long time. It's, there's no easy games. Um, you know, everyone's a battle. And there's a hard, there's a team that's won, I think, four or five or five or six. They've been in a lot of games and uh, very competitive. They got some great players on offense, um, some really dynamic players on defense, especially in the secondary. And uh, it was just good to get a win. So it feels good. We just, by the end of tonight, we'll kind of move on and get ready for Atlanta and go to there. That's going to be the uh, biggest game of our season. All right, we'll go over to Sarah Walsh. Hey, Tom, I know you talked a lot this week about wanting to make progress each and every week. So coming off the bye, is there an area in particular you feel good about that you made progress in today? Yeah, I just think, you know, again, us complimenting, you know, our run game, pass game, you know, everything, finding our rhythm and, um, you know, finding ways to win games and making plays in situational football like we did at the end of the first half. How big was it to have the, the offense go the entire game without any miscues, any turnovers today? Yeah, I think the only thing we had to drive start with a penalty that was – really ticked me off because we only had about 30 seconds off the clock because of that penalty. But, uh, yeah, I think our team is, especially offensively, is, is really – they're in sync. They know what we're trying to get done. And uh, Tom did a great job protecting the ball and, and making big plays. Thanks, Bruce. You bet. All right, we're going to go over to Jenna Lane. Hey, Coach. Uh, I know that, that Tom's throwing it to whoever's open, but I know Scotty Miller has been targeted like twice in the last three weeks. Uh, how much of a priority was it to get him involved today and to get him involved on some of those deep passes? None, none really. He's just he's the, he's the deep guy on that pattern. Tom mm -hmm. read it out and he hit him, but it was not designed to go to Scotty. It was designed to go somebody else. And and coming off of of not just the bye week, but but having two losses before that, right? Like you can't get that bad taste out of your mouth and play the next week because you got the bye. How big was it for you guys to be able to come out of this with a W and, and head in the right direction? Oh, it was huge. I mean, we had to do this. It was a big game for us. Uh, guys did their job. They rested. They took care of the virus. We came back clean, healthy, and, uh, you know, and, and it showed up today. We were a very fresh team, I thought, in the fourth quarter. Thank you. All right, we're going to go over to Ira Kaufman. Bruce, if I would have told you uh, at noontime today, an hour before the game, that you would have ended up running the ball, Bruce, more than you threw the ball, uh, you probably would have been a happy camper. Um, was that kind of the game plan going in? 
I think, Ira, yes and no. I, I think games dictate how much you run it. Uh, what's the score at the end of the third quarter? And, you know, we were leading, so it leads to more runs. And Rojo ran really, really well, especially the last drive. And um, we wanted to set up some play action. Um, didn't hit it as many as we hoped. But, you know, that when asked early this week about our identity, I think we just showed our identity. We could do any damn thing we want to do. And, Bruce, the O-line as a group, no sacks and a pretty good run blocking. Outstanding. They've been good. Man, they've been good, knock on wood. When they're healthy, we're good. And, uh, and those guys have been great. Uh, just the dependability of all five of those guys being here every single week um, has been fantastic. Thanks, Bruce. Are right, we going to go to John Romano. Hey, Bruce. There was a point in the third quarter where they closed it to nine and had first and goal. Winfield comes up with a big sack that pushes them back. Could you just talk about the way this kid has played this year? Does, does he look like a 22-year-old to you? No, not at all. Uh, you know, and, and he and Tristan should be hitting the proverbial rookie wall by now, and we joked about it all week. And, uh, you know, both those kids are just they're mature beyond their years, and uh, especially in football acumen. Uh, Tristan is playing lights out. I don't know if there's a better right tackle in the league. And, and right now Ant Antoine is he's just so heady. He studies. Um, he's got, you know, he's got his dad to lean on, and he's got all the coaches to lean on, and he puts his time in. All right, we'll go over to Sarah Walsh. Hey, Bruce, these last couple games that have come down to the wire and been closed, can you just talk about what your defense did in this fourth quarter to really just end it when they should have ended it, especially against Kirk Cousins, who has been so good in the fourth quarter this season? Yeah, I, I thought two things. We stopped him. Offense came down and got the field goal that made it back a two-score game. So we knew it was going to be uh, – it was hunting time for the defensive line. And I, I just thought we got after him really, really – our secondary played good. Uh, we got after Kurt. I, I, he didn't stand in the pocket very often, very long. And, uh, you know, that's what we can do. If we, can, if we get rid of the running game, get him in a two-score two game, that time, that time in the ball game, we should be getting after him. All right, we have time for a few more. We're going to go over to Scott Smith. Coach, back to Ant Antoine um, and the, just the, the performance he had today. He led the team in, in tackles, had one of those sacks. To do it against a team that you mentioned earlier in the week, he grew up rooting for, obviously, his, his pops played for him. Uh, what it means to him and, and to have a, a career performance uh, yeah, against his I, I'm team. sure. I'm, I'm sure he's elated. Um, family's probably elated. Uh, just, sure, when you watch the team you grew up watching, your dad and in the locker room, um, it's huge. I can remember when Peyton played the Saints. It was the same type of thing. So, yeah, Antoine, uh, you know, when we hit, he got the blitz sack, oh, I just loved to see us pick up that fumble and score. But uh, that was a great, great job by him. And then I just was curious, at the end of the first half there, the field goal at the one, uh, how much thought you gave to trying to punch it in? None. You know, to get, to get a chance at, a, at points, we were not going to take any chance of not coming out with any points. It was, you know, it was a risk to do what we did. And it paid off for three because we had the ball coming out for the second half, got the touchdowns, a 10-point swing. All right, we'll go over to Greg Allman. She still have three big games up ahead, but in terms of what you tell your team, how much did you guys help yourself by getting this win and getting yourself uh, ahead of the pack here for the wild card with three games to play? Well, we got, we're, you know, got the tiebreaker on these guys, and, and this is a good football team. They're going to win some games down the stretch. We're one day at a time. And that's what I just told the guys. It was a great win because it started on Tuesday. We had great practices Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And again, this week's different. We, we can't meet Mondays and Tuesdays. So we have another different way that we have to handle getting ready to play a ball game. And uh, whether it's virtual, however we get it done, we'll get it done. And just make sure that we take care of tomorrow's business tomorrow. All right, our last one's going to be Rick Stroud. Bruce, you guys only had five plays on offense in the first quarter. I mean, what's the conversation? How difficult is it over there to, to, to wait to get your, your offense back on the field? Yeah, it's frustrating because, again, we had a manageable third. Um, they, they dropped the coverage and came back and hit Scotty. You know, it, was, it was a good play by their defense. Tom, we went to the right guy. And they just made a good play. Uh, but, yeah, it is frustrating when they're running the ball like that against our defense. We're just not used to that. Again, it wasn't anything scheme-wise. We're just missing tackles against a really good back. And uh, I think we cleaned that up as we got better and better as we went along. 
All right, that's all for today. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.